welcome welcome so now we'll go to nike's uh, nike became uh, like um, in 2018 it was rated uh, valued at 29.6 billion us dollar company and uh, uh, it is like the the what are their principles how it becomes like how it became 29.6 billion dollar company the principle first principle they have it is our nature to innovate it is our nature when it is somebody's nature to innovate so what they can do for their company or their life okay this is a so this is so beautiful principle it is our nature to innovate okay it is in their blood in genes okay second principle is nike is a company okay like lot of people say nike is a brand it is a company and there are in company there are lot of uh, pillars to it people branding lot of stuff is there so that also differentiates how company is thinking nike is a brand it is also a brand so the logo the uh, whoosh logo is instantly recognizable around the world nike logo i have i have i also like nike so this logo uh, nike sees this as a symbol of its global leadership so see how beautifully and deep they are about everything they do and uh, it will uh, it will enter only those markets that uh, it thinks is uh, can dominate okay it it says if we can uh, can't lead it we won't need it so Nike is very specific about markets also like the logo defines the principle okay and then uh, that is the third let's go to the fourth principle fourth principle of Nike is simplify and go i have seen like from leonardo vinci till all the artists i've studied all the prophets and all people what they have done is they have simplified things okay when you simplify things people will come to you okay uh, simplify and go new products have short life cycle in terms both technology and fashion the company believes that it makes quick yet skillful decisions is key to the success this aspect of nike's vision together with the seventh maximum uh, is a particularly powerful in articulating the company's you um, highly hugely successful use of uh, amount strategy like simplify and go that is the best principle and simplification is beautiful principle and then fifth principle is uh, the consumers consumer decides the consumer decides it's never company never the people who are working in company consumer will decide the company is keenly aware of the sophistication of its customers and treats them as its key stakeholders they know their customer they know their customer what they want and this is how they are going to they design their products accordingly it's never about you it's about always about customer so be a spongy be a spongy Uh, employees at nike are encouraged to be curious open to new ideas whatever their source whatever their source they are be like they are encouraged curious they are, they are like they are for new ideas and innovation in their blood so seventh principle evolve immediately never never ever because see time is going you are already in a risk so never ever ever uh, do protectionism or uh, perfectionism just immediately evolve immediately evolve immediately evolve nike sees itself as a being in the uh, perpetuate motion viewing change as a key source of innovation always change change is the innovation if you don't change you will not survive so do the right things do the right things nike uh, eighth principle always do the right things then master of the fundamentals always know your fundamentals never never ever compromise with the fundamentals okay 
all innovations in the world is useless if you can't put into one into action if you don't put into action no innovation is going to work nothing is going to work a crucial part of nike success is ability to refine its performance the recent growth in the profits suggested that it is achieving this so okay so always be fundamental understand your fundamentals of the business we are on the offense always 10th principle they are not defensive company they are always on, on offense what does it mean stay ahead in the extreme competition environment nike urges its people to act like leaders in the field to achieve victory okay they are on offense not defense remember the man you like they always remember bill brown man uh, he still uh, had held in the high esteem throughout nike both for his understanding and athletes need uh, needs and for his innovative spirit so he started nike company uh, and he's always been remembered and that is the 11th principle and i think this also shows that they they have a gratitude for the man who started nike company so uh, we'll go to the um, another principle which is uh, what steve jobs says about the principles and uh, uh, let's talk about steve jobs today uh, so he also made another trillion dollar company so let's go and understand and let 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 me know what have you learned from these principles how you are going to implement in your course and design in a project